What is up everyone? Welcome to another video on the Rizigits channel. Today we saw the release of the fourth character added to the Fighter Pass 2 for Smash Bros Ultimate, being of course Pyra and Mithra, which is a double character. They work pretty similarly to how Zelda and Sheik used to be in previous games, where you would press down B to transform between the two. And as usual, I'm here to give you my first impressions after only a few hours of playing them. So first of all I'll say, not a Xenoblade fan, but I do really really like the character design in this one. As usual the models look absolutely superb, and I'm not really bothered at the fact that we got another sword character, cause I quite like them. And as I've said before in previous videos, anything we get at this point is just additional, this roster and game are just fucking nuts at this point. So thank you again to Sakurai and his team for working very hard in this one. So I played about in training and then had about 10-20 to 20 online matches. I've got to say, I really, really enjoy playing this character. Pyra is quite slow with a really bad recovery, but hits like a freight train. Mithra on the other hand doesn't pack as much punch, but is incredibly quick and amazing at getting the damage in. That kind of leads to play style where you'll play Mithra to get the damage in and then switch to Pyra when you're trying to get the final kill. Which I think is great because there's obviously no other character that you can switch between now in these games like Sheik and Zelda used to be, now that they're their own separate characters of course. Unless of course you include Shulk who has the Minato arts that changes him up based on what you need at the time. But yeah, let's get into talking about the movesets. When I say Mithra is fast, I mean she is fast. I found her quite good at juggling and her side B just catches people off guard all the time and lasts incredibly long. Of course this is one of these moves where once people kind of get used to it they're going to know how to avoid it but right now I am totally catching out everyone online with the side B. Also it does quite a lot of damage um, as you can see in the footage I am racking up major damage just by getting in a couple side B's, couple neutral airs and basically at that point I'm ready to switch to Pyra and finish it off. Pyra on the other hand kind of feels not quite like a heavy but she's slow like a heavy. It's kind of similar to Byleth but maybe not as slow. But pretty much every one of her attacks have a lot of knockback and deal a shitload of damage. I find her side B where she uses her sword as a projectile to be a really good way to ledge guard. And her up B is basically an insta kill after 80% on most characters. It's pretty damn brilliant if you catch them on the way down. Of course, as sword characters, they have good range. With some attacks, I'd even compare the range to Shulk's. Really, really fun in general, honestly. Overall, I'm thinking this character has a lot of potential and feels quite strong. And obviously, the versatility based on the fact that you have not one, but two characters to switch between leads me to think that this could be used in competitive play. Overall, really strong character, really fun to play, um, I actually have nothing awful to say. But at this point you're probably wondering, okay well, what's the drawback, are they just perfect? No, of course there's a drawback, you can't have a perfect character. The downfall of Pyra and Mithra is unfortunately their recovery. Mithra's is slightly better than Pyra's, but Pyra's on the other hand is utter garbage. I actually find I use Pyra's upbe more as an attack successfully than a recovery. This of course makes her incredibly vulnerable to ledge guarding. But of course this is only a couple hours into me playing her. This is first impressions video, not a deep analysis. Both characters have a decent enough grab range and really nice neutral airs. As I said you kind of adopt this playstyle where you play Mithra until you get enough damage in, about 60-70, and then you'll switch to Pyra to get the stock due to her hard hitting nature. Unfortunately I kind of feel like Pyra is just a little too slow against faster characters. At high end gameplay it's actually quite hard to get a finishing blow in as Pyra, but then Mithra on the other hand doesn't have enough punch to actually take stocks. But the more we get to play them the more I'm sure we'll figure it out. Moving on to the new stage, I think it's nice, um, not my favourite or anything but it's a good wee addition and represents Xenoblade Chronicles 2 pretty damn well. And as usual the skins look pretty good, there isn't too much variation except for maybe the Hatsumiku inspired one, um, which I quite like actually in game. But yeah, really like the skins, 
and I'm really, really enjoying playing Pyra and Mithra. I definitely see myself playing them more in the future. So let me know in the comments if you've got Pyra and Mithra, how do you feel about them? Are you annoyed that we have another sword character or are you enjoying playing them? Please give the video a like if you enjoy these first impressions. It lets me know that I should keep doing them for you guys. And if you're new to the Rizigus channel, please consider subscribing. We do reaction videos to every reveal for Smash. And of course, like this, we do the first impressions video on the day of release every time. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one.